Hi everyone, welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. My name is Arnella Custodio and today we will be looking into two new exciting blocks coming from the WordPress 5.4 version, the social and button blocks. The version of WordPress that you're seeing in this video is using a WordPress beta test plugin in order to see the release candidate version of WordPress 5.4. So we're going to start off logged into the WordPress administrator dashboard and you're going to see the about screen for WordPress 5.4. This appears when you first load the version up and it gives you information about the version. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom and you need to find more specific details about what's up in the new version, then uh, you can click on the link labeled WordPress 5.4 field guide. We're going to go ahead and jump into a new post or an existing post so that we can see these new blocks. So click on posts. I'm going to click on the hello world post here that we have here. And then in order to see the first new block, we're going to go ahead and click on the plus sign. And then we're going to click on social icons. If you don't see the social icons block immediately, you can click on the search option here and then type in social. It will appear under widgets. So I clicked on the icon to add it, and you'll see that it lists the most popular social media platforms immediately. The first one that you see is the WordPress icon, and here you can see that there is already a URL that's there. In order for each of these different social media platforms or icons to appear, you have to have a URL for that particular icon. You can also change the position of where these icons appear. So if you want your Facebook or your WordPress icon to be first or last, you can click on the arrow here and it will reposition the location of that icon. Additionally, if you look off to the right here and look at the block properties, you can see that each individual link has a label that you can apply to it. Now, as I was saying earlier, in order for these particular icons to appear, you have to fill in a URL. In order to see this, you can actually click off the button and you'll see that only the WordPress icon which had a URL filled in appears. If you see that you don't have a social media platform immediately shown here when the social icons block appears, you can click on the plus sign and you'll see all the different social media platforms that WordPress supports at this point in time. And there are quite a few. So now let's take a look at the buttons block. We're going to click on the plus sign here to add a new button. And then if you need to find that particular block, you type in button. It'll be under layout elements. So I'm going to click on button. And then right when you see it appear, you'll see this kind of layout. Now you can start typing in text in order to see the button kind of fill out. You can also change the way the button appears, and you have two different ways. You have either the fill, where you can see the color filling it, and then you can also get the outline type, where there's no color in there, and it's just the text. I'm going to keep it with the fill for now. This particular menu bar for the button includes the link for that button, and then the formatting for the text that you're using within the button. So I can bold it, or I can italicize it. And then there's options here in the drop down menu that include inline code, an inline image, strike through, text color, and underline. Off to the right hand side under the, the block um, properties, you'll see that you can change the different colors that are applying to the button. And the new feature here that they're talking about within the description for these buttons is the gradient style. So you can actually add a gradient to the button to make it look kind of fancy. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see something called border settings. This will change the shape of the button. Right now, you can see that it does have rounded corners. If you go all the way to the left, you'll see all the corners appear sharp. You'll remove all the rounded parts of it. If you start going over to the right-hand side with the slider, you'll see the button become rounder as you increase the number here. So if you click on the link here, you can actually select what the button links to and it's nice because you can actually use either anchors within your text document so that you can jump to different parts of it using the button or you can open it up in a new tab 
and you can even jump to a different URL entirely. And there you have it, the two new blocks that are coming up in WordPress version 5.4. We hope you like this tutorial, and we can't wait to see these new features in action when we're working on our WordPress sites. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for listening, and have a great day. For more information, please go to our InMotion Hosting Support Center website at InMotionHosting.com slash support. You can post questions and find helpful tutorials to help you build or maintain your website.